Hello and welcome to programming. This is going to be episode three of the making of Pac-Man. And in this episode, I'll try to show you how to make the maze. The mazes. There are going to be four mazes in in this game. And I'll try to show you how to draw it afterward. So the first step right now. Let me show you what we have. We have the game with the um, boring background. So we're gonna be um, generating this and then draw it to make it a little more pleasant to play. Hopefully. Now what what I will do is I will copy this and then the maces. That's the the definition of the maces. Now I'll gener I'll I'll make a couple more of that and so so that I have four of the maces four maces in there in the directory called maces and that maze dot txt is corresponding to number zero and one two three and so forth so we are going to turn these um, these maces into uh, into images four images correspond corresponding to um, that particular number so it's going to be zero the PNG, one of PNG, two of the PNG and three not PNG. So to generate the image we are going to create a new class. Let's call it Maze Creator with the main method. So for each of the maces starting from zero, for each of that we are going to do the following. We are going to load in the maze strings door um, maze on the image and then save the image three steps so the first one would be uh, load in in the process of loading in we are going to need a variable to um, save the line to put the line in We are going to use scanner to scan the file. The file is going to be in directory called Maces. The name is exactly M. Control 1, enter. Control 1, enter. Control 1, enter. Enter. S. Close. So I don't forget that. Y A dot has next line. We are going to append next line to the list. Then we're done. We are going to need a couple more variables to um, keep track of the maze. So the first one is row. The row number is the number of lines. Column is zero. The number of number of characters in the first line with this column. So two height is row times two. Once we have all that, we are going to draw the image. To draw the image, we are going to create a new image. Call it image. Control 1. Control 1. Enter. Now to create a new image we are going to supply it with the 
width and the height and the type of the image type int ARGB is the type I selected now to draw it we are going to need the graphics from we are going to get the graphic from the image and try to draw it using function from graphics in this case I'll use graphics 2D call the variable G created using create graphics control 1 enter now G dot after we done after I'm done with uh, the drawing I'm going to dispose the graphics to draw it we are going to go cells by cells that is how we go cell by cells if the lines at R character at C it's not a wall we are going to fill rectangle C term 2 subtracted by 14 if you want to know why I get these equation please rewatching rewatch the um, the last video episode 2 with the uh, width and the height is 28 now after we done the uh, next step is to save it image io dot write the image using png format 205 call images inside of folder called images and plus m plus the number of the image with the extension of png now we're going to need to control one enter and enter now after we run this we should get all uh, the images corresponding to um, the maze let me refresh that the next thing we're gonna do is uh, we are going to edit it with GIMP so let's open it with external program and then select Kim. Okay, here's yeah, what I have. Now you, uh, I'm using 2.8, and then my window it's a single window mode. So if if you're not you're not using 2.8, you're gonna see something like this. It should essentially be um, straightforward to follow anyway. So we're not going to be worried about about this anymore, about Eclipse anymore. So just to save myself from from um, burning out my resources, I will just go ahead and close Eclipse. Now, a couple of dialogues um, I that I have been opening here the first one is the tools of course, of course the toolbox and the second one is, is the layer you're not going to see uh, anything like this because I turn the show grid on that's the one you should be seeing now right away we are going to save this as XCF in XCF format so save it just in case if there is anything wrong we can always get it back now 
here is the first step add a new layer now select transparency click OK go to the first layer click on fuzzy select tool click on that and then go to selection grow four and then go to selection again shrink it down and uncheck that and put that in four what it's gonna do is it's going to round it off some of the corners here but leave um, that corner right there is still not routed but just to let you know we're gonna fix that so go to layer the upper layer now you can turn off the eye and then grab the bucket tools fill in the black black color to the selection next we are going to make um, the corner right there routed so here's what you're going to do we are going to go to selection and say inward now grow the selection again for go back to the selection again shrink it down four remember to uncheck it so now you can see that it will route off that one now control X to get rid of the uh, rid of the uh, the corner so you get all of the image routed next we are going to fill in the red color make sure you save it next we are going to go to selection and shrink that down by 2 click on OK we are going to select the foreground to be um, something something like pink click on OK now grab the bucket tools again and then start filling in good now so do it I think we can leave that for now now grab the uh, fuzzy selection tools and then here's what we um, click on that and then hold down shift key and then click on that 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 that's all we are going to work with now so go to selection shrink it down by 2 again now this time fill in with red the former red that we selected I believe I take that one is it that one or that one that one okay so grab the bucket tools and then start filling in now do it again one more time with the black this time so shrink by 2 click on OK click on black and then start filling in next well, I think we're done only one more with uh, so we only need to get 
rid of that and fill black in again one more time that and then fill black in now that's how you draw the maze so we got it now we can export it to zero the PNG uh, in this case I'll we'll put another zero zeros in just uh, for you to just to keep the original one untagged so click export and that's it for episode 3 on how to generate the maze and how to draw it I show you only um, one maze so the rest of them is up to you please uh, I hope you enjoy the video and thank you for watching goodbye